Question eight, JL is to QO as NV is to, so we need to find the letters that complete the sentence in the best way. We'll start by looking at the letters J and Q. So how do you get from J to Q? J is here, Q is here, so we need to move on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven letters. Now looking at the L and the O, so how do we get from L to O? L is here, O is here, so we need to move on one, two, three letters. Now looking at the letter N, so to work out the first missing letter, we need to move on seven letters from N. N is here, if we move on seven letters, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that brings us to the letter U. But looking at the answer choices, we don't have the letter U in any of the answer choices. So that makes me think that this is going to be about the position of letters in the alphabet. So going back and looking at the letter J, what position is J in the alphabet? So let's work it out from the beginning of the alphabet. So A1, B2, C3, D4, E5, F6, G7, H8, I9 and J10. So what about Q? Let's work out how many letters Q is from the end of the alphabet. So Z1, Y2, X3, W4, V5, U6, T7, S8, R9 and Q10. So they're both in 10th position. J in 10th position from the beginning and Q in 10th position from the end. So let's just check about the letters L and O. So L is here. So if we carry on numbering the letters, so K would be 11, L would be 12. So L is in 12th position from the beginning. And then looking at the O, so P would be 11th letter from the end and O 12th. So it is definitely about position. So now looking at the letter N. So N we can see is the 13th letter from the end of the alphabet. So to work out the first missing letter, we need the 13th letter from the beginning, which is the letter M. So M is our first missing letter. And then looking at the letter V. So what position is V in? So V e is here and it's in fifth position from the end. So our second missing letter is going to be in fifth position from the beginning, which is the letter E. So E is our second missing letter. So the answer is ME, which is C. And now all you need to do is mark your answer on the answer sheet. So you need a horizontal line next to the letters ME.